Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are having an amazing day. This is the Crypto Slayer. I'm going to be talking about HBAR, which is the Hashcraft based DLT. Um, this right here, if it was to take on the market cap of ADA or Cardano, you'd be looking at a nine plus dollar token for Hedera Hashcraft. These are the qualities, the features that make this token very valuable, in my opinion, as a long term value investor. I see this, I see a lot of potential, scalability. It's all there, man. Uh, this was created um, August 2019. So it's a very new uh, distributed ledger technology when compared to Cardano. Cardano is late September 2017. And, you know, the TPS, just the transactions per second in general, there's there's a clear difference, bro. They are not the same. Look at Hedera. It's 10K and Cardano is 1,000. So, I mean, there's going to be, you know, scalability with Cardano as well. Uh, you know, we're just waiting on more updates. But with the transaction confirmation of three to five seconds with finality that's what most institutions want that's what they like is finality everything to be finalized like almost instantaneously uh, cardano is still dealing with blocks and it's three to 20 seconds per block that's the the block time guys i guess and the average transaction fee is fixed at 0 0.001 Compare that to the variable transaction fees that Cardano is dealing with, which is could be anywhere above 35 cents. Could be less. It just depends on the network and stuff. Um, it is more scalable than Ethereum. I'll give it that. But uh, the total transactions that have taken place over this network in general exceeds 1.6 billion. So right here it says 1.5 billion. But I mean, the updated amount for now is if you go to Dragon Glass, that me you can see how there's 1.6 billion um, transactions so not million this is billion which is insane guys for something that's only been around since 2019 and the total amount of accounts that have been created that are holding at least one h bar um the total amount is 400k it exceeds that but just recently they hit um 400 000. i think this this tweet was out two days ago or three i guess um yeah, I'm making this video and I'm, I'm looking at this. It's, it's just mind blowing how, how the growth could happen this quickly. I mean, it said right here that there was 100,000 accounts that have been created since July 7th. So that means that the total number of accounts has grown by 33% in less than two months. That's around 50K accounts being added that are holding HBAR every month. Can you imagine that this continues for another year? The exponential growth that's going to take place in the network in terms of holders and and people that are on it this is what leads companies like ibm and google to build on top of hbar they see the potential guys they see the value in this how scalable this is and just it just works man the tpd record is 9.4 million plus with cardano's 85k um, plus as of may 2021 dApps there's still 500 plus dApps um you know on the hedera hashcraft dot and with cardano there's still zero apparently man that's crazy number of forks there's no forks on hedera cardano has several forks the number of accounts um this was because this was august 2022 uh last month uh, basically last month so it's 367,000 accounts now we know it's like over 400k you know there's 1.3 million accounts for cardano so obviously this one's more undervalued because there's less people holding it so that just means that there's not that much going on right now in terms of holders um it's a lot newer you know like there's a lot more price potential um for something where it has lower amounts of holders than with something that's that's already been you know diluted um in the network because of how many people are on there and stuff like with xrp um it's very mature like it's not i'm not gonna say mature but it's been stabilized at this price for the longest and it's because there's just so many people holding xrp it's like three million and that's why you don't see that like you know explosive growth as you guys have seen with xtc and matic and that have taken place out of nowhere so yeah xrp will grow in price it's just going to take um actual like utility for that to happen like with uh I, th I think cardano i mean what do they got going on right now for for the apps you know zero it's it's crazy how they got zero going on right now and these are some of the future d apps for the hedera hashcraft dlt so you got tune fm and then you got ads this is like an ads end-to-end -end advertising platform that leverages distributed ledger and blockchain technology. You got hash name service, AOC chain platform, decentralized lottery platform. There's a lot more, I guess, but these are the feature ones. And there's around 2.9 million transactions that are happening daily for HBAR guys. So this is very, very good. JK8 
integrates with Hedera Hashgraph to boost its security infrastructure for institutional needs. So they will integrate their enterprise-grade self-managed custody solution into the Hedera network to support banks and financial institutions using Hedera's HBAR and HTS-based tokens, enabling more enterprises to push forward into the digital ecosystem. This is going to bring a lot more utility guys and a lot more liquidity into this network. Um, with, the, with an ability to process 10,000 transactions per second, that's HBAR, asynchronous Byzantine fault tolerance security, and its world-class governing council, that Hedera network is already one of the world's most used public distributed ledger networks. And it's been around since 2019, bro. I can't stress this enough. With Avery Denison, Boeing, you got Chainlink Labs, Dentons, Dutch Telecom, um, you know, EDF, you got FIS, Worldplay, Google, IBM, LG Electronics, Magalu, Namura Holding, Shinham Bank, Standard Bank Group, and on and on. Um, you know, these are all, uh, they're all part of the, you know, Hedera Governing Council. So they're all working together, guys, to to make use of this distributed ledger technology to improve the world and the economy. But these are the HBAR supported wallets. So if you're looking to hold HBAR away from exchanges, then Exodus, Atomic Wallet, the Nano Ledger X and S are also good, obviously. But, um, you know, I always, I always recommend like, you know, cold storage wallets, they're a lot better and, and, you know, you're a lot safer with your funds. So this is just July 30th, guys. This is literally a month and a couple of days ago, but there was 1.4, um, you know, almost 1.5 billion transactions that had taken place over the Hedera Hashcraft network. And, you know, now it's a little over 1.6 billion. So very soon at this growth, by the end of this month, I mean, we could probably have anywhere around 1.7 to 1.8 billion happen let me tell you all what's going on so this is a solana network so just to put everything in perspective solana apparently has around 26 billion 813 million transactions that's part of their live transaction stats as you can see this this number is moving every second live so we, we're not sure this is live and verified all this because it's very hard to do that to verify instantly but that is very interesting how you can see how it just moves. It's, it's really cool. I kind of like that. But yeah, all this info you can find online. So that's the sources for, for these stats. But essentially, there's there has been around close to 11 million transactions on the Cardano blockchain. And you you compare that to Solana, bro. And, you know, Hedera Hashgraph, XRP, and even Synfin. It doesn't even compete, bro. Cardano is far behind because, you know, there's around almost a 20x difference and transactions that have taken place over the Synfin network than with, um, you know, uh, what's it called, ADA. And ADA is a lot older than, than the XTC network. And the funny thing is that Hedera is newer than the Cardano and Synfin network and yet has more transactions have taken place over that, you know, DOT than with these, you know, these two other ones. And, it's, and then um, Solana is just blowing everything else out of the water. So that, that one just reached $145. You know, we have Quant that's doing crazy numbers right now. I, I, I searched some other thing. Hold on. I, mean, I hate when I'm searching like a token or whatever on CoinMarketCap and it gives me something else. But yeah, this is $329, guys. I told you all on my community post that Quant was going to go absolutely crazy in September. It was it was already written in stone, basically. I was just putting it, I was just putting the word out, okay? I was just uh, warning you guys. I mean, it, it, I mean, the whole market cap doubled in literally a week since I or a week and a half since i made that community post it's ridiculous um you know everyone knew this was happening around you know the quant community so i just wanted to make sure that any of my subscribers had a heads up for at least a week you know before that happened but dag guys is going to be massive this year as well constellation is, is uh down 10 percent, but i believe in this project long term now you got aobt which i talked about in, on my channel when it was 45 cents now it's a dollar and 31 cents so a dollar later basically so Alliance Block is already a $300 million market cap token. The volume is reaching 20 million on the daily. So this is a gem in my opinion it is partnered with Quant. So it doesn't get any better than that. The use cases for Alliance Block will blow your mind. If you haven't already seen it, I've already made a video on my channel. So check it out guys, it's approaching 3000 views. But I talked about Alliance Block at 45 cents. Now it's a dollar later. So it's cool um i wish i would have talked about it sooner because it was at 30 cents for the longest and i didn't like i don't know why i forgot 
until like it was already reaching 40 50 cents but it's whatever at least i told you guys about it in time sort of um api3 i talked about this at four dollars um it's or it's at five almost 589 so if you guys know the reference from the xrp riddlers or whatever but guys um did mention these uh dag which is constellation albt api3 are projects and also you can include vxv which is vector space ai these are projects to watch for this year in general so they might not do that good in september october but overall this year beginning next year it's, they're going to be amazing in terms of um you know price growth and everything but you know, don't say i didn't warn you remember this post this is not financial advice and quant will go absolutely crazy in 2021 hopefully this is the beginning and we see a lot more growth for quant because it's been going up a whole lot bro and it's only been six days into this month so it's ridiculous how this is happening and unfolding but um i did talk about the overledger a month ago on my community post um here i said how this is going to be operating and functioning like an operating system sort of like windows uh, it's going to connect legacy systems uh, existing permission and permissionless blockchains and networks together and it's going to allow for interoperability between the Corda, Hyperledger, and Ripple platforms um, to become seamless, basically. So if any bank wants to connect to Ripple, it's, it can do so with the uh, Overledger API. And the IMF, World Bank, and BIS, they all came out and said that CVDCs, or central bank digital currencies, need to be interoperable. And that is a major topic this year, guys, is the creation and adoption of CVDCs in every country. Like the digital pound, digital euro all that stuff um anything to be honest that is connected to r3 corda or the hyperledger fabric um like hadera hashgraph is a member of the hyperledger um you know a uh, consortium and everything anything connected to that is going to succeed and that includes stellar includes ripple includes quant and a lot of central banks and many other companies so like visa mastercard stuff like that you i guess you could include um, if I'm correct, uh, you got consensus. You, you also got a censure, guys. Look into those organizations. And if they're connected to those that I just mentioned. They're going to succeed. These are projects that are not going to fail. So, yeah, this this all this stuff, guys, is just my own opinion. Do your own due diligence and research before you consider investing. Also, uh, if you did enjoy this video, leave a comment. If you have any suggestions for future uploads, I will get to it as soon as possible. I really will um, leave a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel if you're new. And I love y'all. I'll see y'all later.